って言った Some of the spends in rural India have got curtailed, uh, in, especially in the second half of this year. I think uh, the mo the monsoon, uh, you know, having having not having gone really uh, too well, uh, has uh, affected uh, not just consumer sentiment but advertiser sentiment as well. Uh, you can also see it from the recent numbers uh, for September and October. Uh, in fact, not too much of spending has happened, uh, uh, you know, in 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 some of the smaller towns. <laughs> Welcome back. You're watching our Diwali special on All About Ads Prime and we're really focused on the rural markets. It's evident that none of our panelists agree with the fact that rural demand is down. Which sectors are up, which sectors are down? Two wheelers is up by about 11%, four wheelers is up by about 20%, of which Maruti is up 24%. No, and Maruti is the one which uh, gets 30% of their sales from That's right. India. Yes. So therefore the sales are really up. Yeah. Hero, for instance, gets 50% of its he sales. Uh, Hero, uh, Hero Motorcorp gets 50% of the sales and they're up uh, 11%. FMCG? FMCG has, not, has seen a flat uh, growth mm -hmm. and there are reasons for it. The Narega scheme is what was driving the demand at the bottom of the pyramid. Right. Now, if you look at the disbursements under Narega, it had peaked in 2011 when it was about 12 billion USD. It's come down to 2.3 billion this year. So the money in the hands of the poor has really come down because the government has not dispersed the amount. And in fact, uh, there is a Supreme Court uh, case which is pending. Right, right. Uh, you know, that the disbursement mm -hmm. must uh, happen. Yeah. The, the sector which is down is the tractors. Okay, it's down 20%. Yeah. Now, tractors have a direct bearing to agriculture. Right. right. But otherwise, if you look at the other sectors, they're generally doing uh, well. Construction, as we talked about, is also up. Construction is also up. In fact, uh, rural infrastructure projects are being sanctioned. So, uh, and uh, rural construction, which is uh, houses, mm. almost 80% uh, of the homes now in, uh, in rural India are paka houses. And hence, uh, cement and hence, companies uh, are cement doing well. Cement companies are doing better. Right. Yeah. Uh, durables. And let me actually turn to you. You know, you mentioned that it's unlike uh, the other years because the festival season is unlike other years. There's festivals across, spread across, right? But for Usha itself, what kind of traction has the rural market seen this year? If you ask me the rural traction that we are witnessing uh, for Usha, I don't think it can be benchmark as uh, for the industry too. Because there are a lot of initiatives of Usha which are parallelly running, whether it is the high school, whether it's the rural initiative of Usha. That is helping us a lot more. So we are growing at an average of CAGR of almost 30 35 percent in our table categories and some of the new categories which we have brought in, we are going in excess of 60 to 70, 80 percent, 100 percent some of the categories. Uh, so we are fairly doing well. Industry, what we see for uh, consumer durable, if I look at uh, large kitchen appliances also, there has been a shift which has been largely towards uh, metros and mini metros compared to rural, that's what has been reported. And uh, But small kitchen appliances are too small to get impacted and also to be registered as rural sales, primarily because you also have, these are smaller products, so it just get carried from smaller nearby town, larger nearby towns to small villages, and those villages continue to grow because India's smaller villages are growing, uh, uh, whether it is because of infrastructure growth, whether it is because of overall moving away from agriculture to the other uh, sectors. So these sectors are growing and they are giving their sale to us. So one of the things that you mentioned earlier, it's uh, it's almost like companies setting targets and you're not achieving targets, which does not mean that there is no growth. There is growth happening, perhaps not as much as you anticipated, but the growth is there. Absolutely. The so companies setting targets from the perspective of uh, we, we all set our targets in the, uh, towards the end of uh, last fin uh, financial year and the sentiments are pretty positive at that point of time. So we set uh, very, very aggressive targets during that time. 
B, we also have to notice that the market, the way it is growing, it is traditional as well as it's online. Online doesn't get captured anywhere mm -hmm. as a sale figure, Absolutely. you know. And uh, even if you go to smaller town, that's what we were discussing earlier. Even if you go to smaller town, you see the impact of online sale happening. Yes. You know, whether it is India Post, which is with its limited capabilities and limited reach, which they have uh, uh, intentions put there together, but limited reach right now. They still have been able to make a dent. People, uh, the smartphones are in smaller towns. They are using smartphones too. I go back to what he just mentioned. It is not affordability, it's the availability. And these players are able to uh, help them out in buying those products and that doesn't get captured in data which we have uh, as a panel. How much has online impacted this whole growth? We have a beautiful mix of online and offline. It's a pure marriage. Whatever orders which we get through online have to be de uh, delivered offline. And we cannot have a warehouse, we need to have a flower shop. So today flower shops are opening in Dindigul, Udupi, Shillong, Dimapur, Bivadi, Sikar, uh, Raurkila, Jharsukda. So these are places which we were not able to service earlier. Is today being serviced by uh, online, where we are able to get orders and so are the retail customers enjoying. So people who have not seen artificial flowers, the quality of artificial flowers which are normally available in bigger cities, you have huge sales on the day of opening. People just grab them up. Around 25% is where I'm seeing the growth happening, whether it is whatever we do. You know, the mobile phone is having a huge impact on how people do business in Tier 3 and in rural areas because you may not have electricity, but you do have your phones which are work working. What kind of impact are you seeing? So let me, on the traffic or the business which is happening on desktop, is stagnant or for that matter going minus by 5%. Whereas the traffic and the business which is on mobile whether it is web or an app, it is growing by 60%. So that's the kind of uh, impact which mobile is having whenever somebody is using and uh, it's, it's the ease of use, the quickness of the use, and it is the screens are getting bigger. It's much more convenient to use out of the phone than just on desktop. Okay. You know, if I may just add to what Pavan said, companies are wanting to go to the rural market, but they're not taking on the task of market development. What he's doing, is making the product available in deeper and deeper and smaller and smaller locations and that's how he's able to grow his business. So companies who want to achieve big targets will also have to take on the responsibility of developing the markets, yeah, which is what uh, Usha is trying to do through so many initiatives. But many more companies need to do that. They can't sit back and say, I have put a target of 50% growth, but I'm getting only 30%. You'll get even less if you don't make the effort. And, you know, we come back to the same discussion that we had, say, 10 years ago. There are players who are investing, who are reaping the benefits now. Yeah. There are players who refuse to create the category over there and will suffer. They might be successful in the sale year one, year two, but that's about it. If you don't invest, you don't reap the Absolutely. benefits. Take the example of Maruti. Yeah. Who would have imagined that cars would sell in Dublin? But seven years back, Maruti took on the decision mm -hmm. that they would want to develop the rural markets. And they had a whole strategy talking to the panchayat, you know, the Pradhan, and trying to oh. get them as the first uh, customers. Today, they get 30% yeah. of their sales. That means 300,000 cars a year are sold in the villages of India, mm -hmm. whereas seven years back, they were getting zero sales. Right. And they have a last mile fleet of 7,000 people who are stationed in every block town mm -hmm. and their job is to develop the market around the villages around uh, that mm -hmm. block town. Yeah. So there's a very concerted effort they have put in. Same thing with Hero Motor Pop. They've got 6,000 frontline people right. who are developing the market. Mm -hmm. So you have to invest, but then you reap the benefits. You know, Hero Motor Pop mm -hmm. gets 50% of their sales from uh, Absolutely right. In fact, yeah. I would like to just add to the point you mentioned. See, rural market for most of people is a strategy on the paper in terms of numbers. Mm -hmm. You know, this much growth has to happen. Then you start looking at rural uh, distribution network and stuff like this. But what lies beyond distribution network for these market is service. Do you have the strength of service? So the entire backbone has to be put together uh, to reach out to this market. Otherwise, it's a big failure because you sell, but you're not able to service. They don't come back to you again. And the dealer loses stress. Dealer will stop working with you and all those happen. Secondly, I think we, when we compare, we compare traditional categories which are operating and we look at benchmarking. So like, let's say if you talk about mixer grinder, how mixer grinder did this year, how refrigerator did this year. But let's understand that today if you look at the, the share of the wallet, it's getting split beyond some of the traditional categories. Now, who would have imagined that when you sell a uh, phone which is worth 5,000 rupees, you also have to sell 
uh, maybe uh, on the top of it a guard which is almost 500 rupees plus a cover which is another 300 rupees. So those are additional 20-25% of revenue which is coming which were not recorded anywhere but consumer is spending over there. For us the categories like halogen oven uh, which is a uh, flagship category we would assume that it should do well. This is a new product, it should do well only in the metro market and suddenly we have a shop in Baramanki and you see four or five halogen ovens flying off from there. And very interesting fact is that when our people go to do research and try to understand, let's say, what is your food habit, can you, how to, I'll help you how to make your traditional food in this new product which I launched, ladies watch for 10 minutes and then they tell us, ki, ye to hume banana aata hai, isliye paas pizza hai. Hume pizza kaise banana hai? Yeah. Chinese kaise banana hai? Wo hume. So the yeah. culturally, if you see, the rural market is transforming. Yeah. Is the urban market and the marketeers catching up with the rural market? That's yeah. a bigger question. Yeah. That's uh, an interesting yeah. point to pick yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Because marketeers <coughs> are not keeping pace with the change that's happening in rural India. Mm. You have to actually design products appropriately for the usage that they have. Mm -hmm. Okay, one last thing I would like to ask all of you, looking ahead, uh, post this Diwali season, what are your expectations from the rural markets? I would think that the rural market will look up because we've had off-season rain mm. you know, after the monsoons. So the soil is wet and for wheat, we require just wet soil. So it's perfect conditions for a good bumper wheat crop. Mm -hmm. So whatever negative sentiment we've had because of agriculture in the monsoon right. uh, season, would be more than made up by a positive uh, sentiment. So the market is definitely looking up. Oh, what yeah, about absolutely. you, sir? From our point of view, rural is the future. This market is, is waiting to be, uh, waiting to explode. Uh, products need to be redesigned. Marketing strategies have been aligned to their needs and requirements. So they are in the early adoption phase from a traditional point of view. You are selling concept in most of the cases. Right. So if you start defining and you have a clear-cut strategy to attack that, this market is going to open up. They have their own ecosystem, whether it is hearts, whether it is their exhibition, whether it is their festivity, which operates differently from our August 15 celebration, online celebrations and stuff like those. If you are able to get into that culture, create product that is it, like I, I strongly believe it is not stripped down of a product to give them for a price. Their requirements are completely different, whether it's electricity, infrastructure to be taken into account and stuff like those. If you are able to develop a design, this is going to catapult the category, Indian market, durable market is getting into another upswing. Now this will be driven largely by, by the rural market because other markets are into largely a replacement mode. They are not into adoption mode. Right, Wait, a quick word from you. For us, the metros, the top uh, cities which uh, Pradeep mentioned, they are more or less done. We are saturated there. So, and the second level of cities, the 7,800 is where we see a lot of shops to open in coming times. And because the shops are going to open, we would see a lot of traction only happening on online. And uh, the merry story to go around 25% plus growth again. Well, one thing is apparent. None of our panelists agree with the Asocham report, which says that consumer demand is down 37%. And they're actually very, very hopeful of uh, consumption and demand in the rural markets in the months to come following the festival season even. On that note, thank you gentlemen very much for joining us on All About Ads Prime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's it from all of us on the team. Thank you very much for watching and we as a team wish you a very, very happy Diwali.